Hey everybody, it's Angie from Trips with Angie. It's about 5 a.m. and we are just outside the Pacific entrance to the Panama Canal. We're picking up our pilot and in this video I'm going to take you through our day so you know when to expect key sites if you do the west to east transit. The Bridge of the Americas is the first bridge you'll pass headed from the Pacific to the Atlantic Ocean. We hit this about 6.05 a.m. Then the pilots will switch. The pilot who took us in will switch with the pilot who takes us through the locks. This is Port Balboa. And then at this point, if you're going to the old locks, you would stay to the right. And then to the left, you're here at the new locks, the Cocoli locks. It's three separate chambers that will move us up. So we're going to move up so that we can enter the lake. We started the process about 7 a.m. So you see that door opens and we sail in. And then at that point, they will close the door behind us once we're inside and then raise the water level so that we can move to the next level in the chamber. The At this point, I had to down to deck seven and then took the stairs up to deck eight to get a little closer look at those doors so you can actually see inside the doors once they're open and you go by I highly recommend moving to a lower deck to be able to see that and then once you're inside you can notice the pylons they will begin a process of tying the ship up you can see the distance between the side of the ship and the walls of the locks chamber. This is much wider than what you would find in the old locks. Um, then we pull all the way into that front wall of the chamber. They tie us down and we start the process of the water level rising. So you can see water pouring in there on the right hand side. So they're lifting the ship up so we'll meet the level of the water in the second chamber that you can see there in the distance. So we're getting closer, closer, and then there we are. So we are now at the same water level of the second chamber. So they can open that door and we can sail in to the second chamber to repeat the process all over again. So we got through the first chamber by about 8 a.m. Um, just to give you a little preview of what's on your port side, I was focused on the starboard side, which you'll see large tankers as they head to the old locks. On the starboard side, it's a little more scenic. And then you do that through the two different chambers. This is the end of the third chamber. So again, they lift us up, we hit the top of the wall, and then that wall moves to the side. So we finished the entire first lock about 9, 10 a.m. At this point, you will pass the old lock. So this is the Miraflora lock. You can see some of the ships going through. Then you will pass the Pedro Miguel set of old locks. Um, so I recommend getting to a high deck at this point so you can really take a look. Then you'll come up on the Centennial Bridge. We passed by the Centennial Bridge about 9.53 a.m. Notice that terracing there on the left side. They did this when they cut this canal to ensure that there wouldn't be a lot of erosion. So now we are through the Centennial Bridge and we are getting into the Gambo Cut. The Gambo Cut was the most dangerous part of the canal to dig because of the rock. You can really see it here, um, the rock they had to cut through in order to cut the canal through this area of Panama. And these are the new locks um, that were opened just a couple years ago. And then you see the landscape, how they terraced it um, to help with erosion. Now at this point, you can head to your cabin, especially if you have a balcony, tune into the bridge cam, you'll be able to hear any of the commentary and see where we are. And you have these great views on the port and starboard side. The port side is going to be a little bit more scenic. On the starboard side, you'll pass the dredging facilities, you will um, see a lot more of the machinery that was used to dig the Panama Canal. So just kind of pick which side you want to be on. At 1pm, we made it through Gotham Lake into the aqua clara lock so again this is going to have those three chambers but this time we're going down um, so we can meet the level of the atlantic ocean there on the other side so a little time lapse here to show you as we move down now uh, that was a quick time lapse if you ca caught the times you spend quite a bit of time sailing through Gotham lake um, so really enjoy that scenery and then these locks just work like the other ones the wall will move once you hit the right level and then this is a little preview of that very very last chamber and you will head out and head out under the bridge and into the beautiful Atlantic Ocean.